Hey, I'm Jake, and for this video, I'll be showing you one of many ways to layer kick drums in Logic Pro X. So right now, I just have a an FM plucked bass preset using the Retro Sin. And I have just a MIDI clip. I'll pull up an electronic drum kit and use the Ibiza kit. So right now it sounds pretty weak. One thing that you can do in Logic, which I feel like is overlooked, is use samples from the EXS24 to layer things conveniently. So I'll just control, I mean, sorry, I'll option drag to copy a MIDI region, open the EXS24, click the bar, go to factory, drums and percussion, single drums, kicks, layer kicks. And we'll just choose Transient Kick 27. I'm going to drag this all the way down. When you're layering kick drums, you usually have to layer between uh, transients and body. This kick sounds like it has body. Because it's occurring... Well, I don't know how to explain it, but it's thumpy. Uh, now here's the transient kick. And together, when I bring it up, I could just do a bit of EQing. And that is one way to layer. If you want to bounce it into audio, in the drum machine designer, it's really frustrating because when you press control B, which is the key command to bounce, it says that it's not available. So you have to double click, find the cell that's active, control left click, create track, and now you have to drag the MIDI to the corresponding track cell that's now available in the arrangement screen. You can highlight both now, press control B, and bounce it. And now you have an audio file. Maybe you can EQ it a bit. So that's just one way of layering kick drums in Logic Pro X and I hope I hope it helped. Take care.